This is The Sin Pit Live. I'm your host, Sean Cole. And as you can probably already see, if you're here for the launch of this show, we're doing something yet again a little different. Uh, I recently have been testing live shows, been having a lot of fun, a lot of things that we can do with the live show that we can't necessarily do normally. So we're going to take advantage of that to its fullest and, it, and in its best opportunity or moments. So today, UPS, Brown Santa, as I like to call him, showed up. And today we received our very own CSL Elite Steering Wheel P1 for the Xbox One. So I figured what I wanted to do today was actually do... A live unboxing and today will be a little clunky I had to use a completely different setup I didn't want to dismantle my whole webcam situation that I had going there so I'm using my laptop today putting this show out and hopefully oh son of a bitch This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and we're going to try that one more time. This is the second time starting this show. I unfortunately had the settings as private or unlisted, so I was filming and streaming live, but none of you could see it. This is The Sim Pit Live Show, and I've been playing around with the live show quite a bit recently, mainly testing what we can do with it and trying to figure out where it can be used best or at least have the most fun with it. Had had a lot of fun having conversations with all of you out there, and today was yet another opportunity to do something different with the live stream. So today, Brown Santa, UPS showed up with his R CSL Elite Steering Wheel P1 for the Xbox One. So I figured, you know, I kind of sometimes like doing the unboxings, and sometimes I don't. But I figured maybe it'd be cool for you guys to kind of see what it's like for me from the moment I do get a package. And not only unboxing, but getting it hooked up and doing some of my initial testing. Sometimes it's a little more complicated than just bolting it on the rig and getting up and running. And I wanted you guys to kind of be along for that ride. I'll do a formal review as well of this wheel and what it does and how it changes the Fanatic lineup. But today I just want to, again, take a first look. So let's go ahead and take a look. If you have any comments or questions, I will be trying to get over there and check that out. And uh, make sure that I uh, can can answer any questions that you guys do have about this wheel. Today's show will be clunky. I'm doing things a little bit differently once again. Audio, I'm sure you can hear, is probably echoey and tinny. And that's because I'm just on an open microphone. I'm using a different webcam, different computer. Over there is my normal streaming station where I have my webcam and everything. So hopefully this is going pretty well because this is the way we're testing for doing something just like today. So let's go ahead and get our look and we can start talking about things as we move along. I will say the comments are a little far away from me uh, right now, so I'm going to have to get up it periodically to get tools to, to continue doing this project. And I will also have to kind of get up to look at some chat comments as things go along as well. Um, unfortunately, I can't see it from way over here with the way I have the computers and the camera set up. So. We're just going to go ahead and take our first look. Again, I wanted you to see it with me. I saw this news today, and I thought, oh, I know one was on the way to me. It would be so nice to go live and be able to show it off. And sure enough, it got here. It just got here a little later than expected today. So here it is coming out of the packaging box, and now we're seeing the retail box, as we'll call it. And again, this is going to work. It's going to work on the PC as well, but it adds Xbox one compatibility to any of the modern Fnatic wheelbases. So you're talking about the V2.0, the V2.5, and the CSL Elite wheelbase. Now what's very interesting about this is very recently I had reviews of the newer CSL Elite base that came with this P1 wheel for the PS4. And it was a really nice wheel, uh, especially for the money. And I think people are upset because it, it wasn't going to be sold on its own. And that was the PS4. So here we have the Xbox One variation, and this one will be sold on its own. It looks like it's $160 here in the United States. 
And again, you can put this on any of the bases and use it on the PC or on the Xbox One. So let's go ahead and put the box down. It came in that typical Fnatic cloth bag, which is kind of a cool thing. Um, means it shouldn't be dusty. It should be nice and clean and ready for us. We'll undo the strings and take a look at it. Look at that. Look at that. So and when I say clunky, well, I'm going to have to kind of come closer and give you guys close-ups. And that's why I will do a full-blown review of this wheel as well um, as soon as uh, I, I get some good footage. But that way I can get some great camera footage of it as well. So coming in close. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. You can see it's got that LED light strip at the top. The display here. Alcantara grip really cool red stitching the ps4 version had blue stitching so that's kind of cool and the you know typical xbox buttons that you would expect and uh you know the the fanatic joystick so everything you'd expect in a fanatic wheel rim it is again like the other p1 this is one of their lightest wheel rims so real quick turning on the wheelbase or it should be so let's go ahead and uh continue on here now I will have to do a firmware update. So right now behind me, you can't see it yet. I'll move the camera so you get a better angle on things. But I have the uh, an Xbox hooked up and I have my computer hooked up. And the reason I have both is because we're gonna need to do a firmware. And that's gonna have to be done on the PC. But I wanna play with this on the Xbox because that is sort of the point of this particular wheel rim. Like the other, like the other P1 rim, it actually comes with these cool button covers. So it comes with an assortment of butter buttons that actually can just cover up these buttons. I'm not, I'm not cover up. You can pull these off and replace them with the other ones. And you know, it's kind of funny. I had lunch with Fnatic and, and uh, uh, Julian from Fnatic and they gave me a hard time because when I did that review, I actually used like probably the most unexciting button there was uh, for my replacement, but you know, if we wanted to play Forza all the time and we didn't care about seeing all the Xbox buttons, we can, uh, we can, I might need a uh, pair of pliers. Like I said, I might have to get up a couple of times. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that, though. Let's go ahead and take care of that. I'll look at your questions while I'm over here. I see, oh, it's that, asked if it's just a wheel. Yes, it is just a wheel rim. And I'll get back on camera and answer the rest of this question. Sorry to walk in front of the camera. Like I said, today's stream is gonna be a little different. Today was kind of giving you a little insight into my world, as much as showing off this wheel. Um, you know, it, 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 I thought it would be fun for you to see what I go through when I get something out of the box, how I go about approaching it um, anyway there we go we pulled that a off and let's go ahead and go with turbo how about that one we can use that for turbo or like drs would be the other obvious one but we have a little turbo sign on this one and so you can see i have now replaced my a button with that one and we now have our drs or turbo boost button on the wheel which will come in handy for forza and just to make sure I don't lose that A button, we'll go ahead and put it back in these little tracks that hold the buttons, and we'll store those for later. And then I'll do a little bit of cleanup. So again, the question asked, is this a wheel rim only? Yes, it is, it's a wheel rim only. In the United States, it's gonna go for $160, which makes it one of the less expensive wheel rims available from Fnatic. It is compatible with the Fnatic V2.0, V2.5, and the CSL Elite wheelbases. And when used with any of those wheelbases, it will add Xbox One compatibility to those wheelbases. So that is also a very cool feature add-on to it as well. And the whole, really the whole point, because again, now between the two, you have PC, PS4, and Xbox One compatibility out of the Fnatic lineup, which is, is fantastic. So there we are there. Now, what I've done is behind me, I have already put a CSL Elite wheelbase on my rig, and I have also already put a set of Fnatic Club Sport V3 pedals on my rig. 
I have the pedals plugged directly into the wheel today. And the reason for that is it's a great way to save USBs. And the other reason for it, excuse me while I fish this tool out of the box. Um, the other reason uh, is because obviously if you're going to play on the Xbox One, you have to be using Fanatic pedals plugged in. And you can either use the, uh, the Elite pedals or the Club Sport pedals. Either one will work. Um, so what I was fishing out there was the Allen wrench and the screw that locks this down onto the rig. So let me make a small adjustment on the camera, which is where I said earlier in the broadcast, if you're just joining, thank you for joining. Uh, I've been doing a lot of these live streams, and I feared one of the best usages of it would be just unboxing. So if you're just joining us, you already missed the unboxing. didn't take long to get this out of the box. Nice button. Uh, nice, nice button layout. Nice paddle shifters on this. Nice feeling grip. Cool red stitching. Give you guys another close-up. And then while I'm here, I'll also kind of give you a shot of the fanatic uh, website so you can see that red stitching it's really nice looking and that Alcantara grip feels really good as well good button layout and you can see we replaced the A button with our turbo button already right there and obviously the Xbox compatibility let me go ahead and show you the fanatic web page so you can see what they're showing this you'll find at their web page as of today today is when they made their announcement of this wheel so um, our, our timing for doing the show is actually very good. And uh, as, as you're looking at that, I'm just kind of moving my table here out of my way. And I'm going to get to the rig where we can put the wheel on the base. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at some of the comments here. And John, yeah, I, I had a little mishap where I had it unlisted because I was testing earlier because it's a new camera. And I just want to make sure it was working all right. Um, and this thing is like half or a third of the way to the BMW rim. The BMW rim is very heavy. I love it. It's beautiful. It's comfortable. It's really heavy. So this is noticeably heavy. Like night and day difference in, in weight, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, and, and drift mode will speed up the wheel. So if you're using a heavier wheel, well, either any wheel you're using, the drift mode on the Fanatic base... Uh, is a, a great or on the fanatic menu is a great way to uh, to get that done to, to get the feeling you want the speed momentum of the wheel that you want so I'm going to move my chair out of the way and like I said I already have the CSL Elite wheelbase and I have both my Xbox right now and my, P my PC hooked up because what I wanted to do was start on the PC just to get a firmware update, because you'll need to do that. And then after I got that, I want to go right to the Xbox. You can, if you heard my dog barking, he likes to alert me when somebody's stealing from the house. So I probably have robbers in the background taking advantage of my not paying attention. Hopefully he uh, got rid of them. So I'm going through the clamp. It's got the same kind of clamp mechanism. Oh, I think I promised you that I was going to move the camera. So let's bring you guys a little closer. It's going to get a little rough here. Sorry. How's that for now? Is that better? All right. So I pushed the wheel all the way on. It's got a keyed position. And again, I'm going to do a formal review. I'm not trying to pass this off as the normal sim pit by any means. Um, I just thought, again, somebody in one of the videos recently made a comment about my wiring and said, oh, you should do a show on clean wiring. And I chuckled and I thought, you know, I've always been sort of uh, a little obsessed with clean wiring. But when I'm changing wheels, I mean, I had a, a completely different wheel and pedal combo on this rig just a couple hours ago. And tomorrow, I might have a completely different setup on my rig. So I can't just make perfect wiring every time. I mean, you still see my old wiring for my other wheel that might go back on the rig. So it's hard for me to get perfect wiring. I try to keep it as clean as possible. All right, we now have our wheel mounted. Um, let me go ahead and power up the wheel. <coughs> Hopefully we don't blow a fuse here. I got a lot of stuff turned on today. All right, let's see here. 
going to go ahead and power it up. I don't have it plugged into anything just yet, by the way. Where's my mouse pad? Like I said, today's going to be a little different. This is you riding along with me. This is basically you, you hanging out with me at work. That's what we're doing here today. Um, other than the fact that I have more lights and a camera on than I would normally have doing this. And if you hear that background noise, that's because I have Forza. I want to make sure I had it updated on my, play on my Xbox. PlayStation. That's funny. All right, so now what I want to do is download the driver. Uh, I don't see the driver. Uh, all right, let's see here. I'm at the Fanatic website. This just came out today, so hopefully we can find that new driver. Uh, you know what? It might be over here, too. All right, bear with me. I have to look at the email I got from Fanatic. Uh, he's saying, newest driver released today, V292. So I'm looking for the 292 driver. And elite base. Let's do it by our base. Let's go with the CSL Elite base. And driver... 292. There it is. 64-bit 292. That's the one we want. Downloading the driver. So again, here we are doing our first look, first test, first drive installation of the new CSL steering wheel, the P1 for the Xbox One steering wheel. This wheel adds Xbox One compatibility to all of the Fnatic wheelbases, the V20, the V2.5, and the CSL Elite wheelbase. It goes for $159.95 here in the United States. I am now installing the driver. I haven't plugged the wheel in yet. And then we'll probably have to do a firmware update really quick. And I wanted to do all this again I can't just plug it into the Xbox One. I gotta get the latest firmware, make sure this thing's ready to go, and then plug it in. So you're gonna need a PC as well to do those firmware updates. And there we go. Okay. So it is why is it still seeing that? So plug that. Let's unplug this. That's still plugged in, so we'll leave that be. Now we're going to go ahead. Sorry to walk in front of the camera. Sorry, guys. I, I told you it was going to be a little different today. I apologize for that. But All right. Let's go ahead and just plug this into one of my front USBs since it's going to come right out. Sorry about my wire management for right now. And you can see the CSL Elite wheelbase showed up in PS4 mode. I'm going to try to change its mode to... That's the V2 mode. PlayStation 4 mode. Oh, it might not know because of the firmware. Alright, let's... Let's go ahead and see if there's a firmware update or something we can do here. Like I said, I wanted you guys to see what it was like when I get something. You know, I'm usually getting stuff a little before that typical... Uh, information and drivers are readily available and it's a little bit of time just kind of figuring things out. Um, okay. Update. Uh, it's not yet. Yeah, your CSL Elite wheelbase PS4 firmware is not the latest one. Please update now. Okay? And now it's saying start firmware updater and we're gonna it says you know and it, this if you haven't done this before you just follow their instructions but it's just follow it take your time and make sure you're actually following their instructions so it says connect button hit that now it's saying firmware preloaded press flash firmware 
Okay, pretty simple. You can see it doing an update. And the wheel has to be calibrated. Firmware update completed successfully. And it says CAL, if you can't see that, it's blinking CAL. That's pretty typical when you finish an update, a firmware update on a Fanatic wheel. So we can now close the updater, confirm exit, yes. And let's really quickly pull up their manual to confirm. Uh, I know we go into the menu, each wheel rim seems to have its own way of uh, curing the calibration. So let's double check the calibration mode. It's usually press the stick inward on two sticks, it's press them together or press them both in. So like I said, today it was going to be about doing what I do. Um, so you're here along with me. Uh, okay. Bear with me. Okay. Uh, on Fnatic steering wheels designed for Xbox One, the corresponding buttons, the menu, this guy here, and the A, which is the one that we changed into a turbo button, of course. So what we want to do is we want to press the menu button, and then we want to press these two together. And you felt the wheel kind of go limp at that moment. And we can go out of menu, and we should be all good to go now. So let's go ahead and close this down. Close this down. Let's just double check what it says. And it's now saying it's a CSL Elite Wheelbase PlayStation 4. Can we change our mode again? Green light. hearing something, I'm not seeing anything. There's PS4 version. V2, that's like the, the legacy version, we'll call it. Another PS4 version. And the green. I'm going to leave it in green mode. And I'm going to now switch. So bear with me, I have to climb under and switch some HDMIs around. So. First things first, let's put the computer back together. Then I'm going to steal the center monitor. Not how I normally operate things. I don't even normally run my Xbox from here. I'll usually just be in my living room on the big TV. But I figured for today, maybe this is a little cooler. Now, I think first things first, I'm just going to get the Xbox to say hello again. Um, I can catch up with you guys while I'm here. Sorry to get in your face like that. Um, actually, I can barely see it on this screen, especially with all the lights of glaring. So, uh, let's go ahead and... Now, let's go ahead and plug the wheel in and see what happens. So, we need to unplug it from the computer. <laughs> like I said, you're here with me testing today, doing something a little different. You see the green light. It's 
there. Let's go ahead and turn the Xbox off real quick. And then let's turn it on with the wheel and see what happens. So like I said, when I'm doing testing, I run into little hiccups, things, first time, you know. Uh, by the time you watch my edited show, all of these moments have been chopped away, and they never exist. Sometimes it goes fairly smoothly, and everything keeps calm. Sometimes it gets ugly. <laughs> um, and that's the, the fun thing about doing it live, is you never know when it's going to be one of those days. And it might even be a little embarrassing. We might have to shut a show down, like if you watch the Codemaster show... I was just having problems getting that to, to work. So let's see what goes on here. I heard it talk to the Xbox. Now things are working. So it might have taken a restart. Let's go ahead and fire up Forza. Controller disconnected. Huh? It's kind of weird. All right. If all goes well, I'm going to need to move some stuff around again. If you're just joining this show now, we are looking at the new CSL Elite uh, steering wheel, P1 steering wheel for the Xbox One that goes with the CSL Elite wheelbases. A while ago, I looked at this version of the CSL Elite wheelbase that was the PS4 version. This wheel, it's a wheel rim only for $159.95 in the USA, and they just announced it today, and that wheel adds Xbox One compatibility to the V2, the V2.5, and um, the CSL Elite wheel bases. So this is your wheel that turns Fnatic products into Xbox One uh, products, which is fantastic. So... Let's go ahead and move my rig. And I'm a little far back, especially for this single screen. So you're going to see me have to work a little harder than I like to work. And let's see. Let's see what we can do for you guys. I also think I want to turn off a light or two. Let's go ahead and get better lighting for driving now that we've done our intro to all of this. And let's get you guys a little closer still. Whoops. I have to move the cord to go any further. All right, now. There we go. And just one more thing. I have to get this cord a little free or things can go wrong. Getting a little swig of my beverage here. Let's go ahead and see what it can do. I do have all these wires in my way. We'll take care of that later. And I have my wheel a little low. We'll take care of that later, too. So, let's go to race. We'll just pick up where we left off. I don't know what this Daybreak series is. We'll just run it. Um, where's my thing to adjust the wheel? I need to tilt the wheel back. And I buried my tool. You wouldn't believe how many boxes I have out right now. Um, this angle might work better for you guys because it's going to show off the light bar. So let's go ahead and just deal with it. pedals are close enough. It's all close enough for right now. Um. Oh. 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 Let's see if we can get just a little more volume out of this. Go ahead and pull him off. Gotta love Velcro. I 
kind of uh, menu systems. I don't know if you guys are big fans of them. S is exit. I don't see an S. That's power. For the love of you know what. <laughs> Hopefully that cleared it. Gave Asus an unnecessary plug, I guess. Alright. Stuff I don't always necessarily cover in a review. Um, so let's go ahead and just real quick go back into PC mode. And all these things. And this is the other thing that happens is by the time I do a, re a review, well, I will have uh, 
cleaned up the studio, got everything looking good and fresh. Right now I'm stepping around boxes, stepping over parts, um, have the wheel at the wrong wheel angle. Um, the list goes on, of course. Okay, so now we have ourselves back in PC mode. I'm going to go ahead and plug it back into the computer. Uh, whoops, that's my HDMI cord. I don't need that anymore. I'm looking for my USB for the wheel, and we'll go back to the computer. And if I step wrong, I'm going to yank everything out and yank my computer down. So <laughs> this is testing. This is testing. All right, plugged it back into the PC. I'm stepping on things. <clears throat> and, uh, still calling it a PS4 base on there. That's the Legacy with the purple. That's for the V2 version. There's the simple PS4. You know, I don't know which one it's going to be happiest with on the PC. But we will find out here in a moment. Just double check our update. 292 beta, so the driver we're using is a beta driver, just, you know, for the record. Firmware 314. Um, and... So the function tests are working. It's, it's talking. It's all working. There we go. I see a wheel. I see my controls. All right, let's fire up iRacing and see what happens with the red lights. And again, with this just coming out today, I'm not, you know, I wouldn't be surprised because there have been other cases where things didn't work on day one because the drivers we're not really ready for that product's arrival just yet. So, what did I just enter? Why does it act like I'm joining a session? I joined a session. I'm losing my mind here, people. We will have to map our controls. Like I said earlier in the broadcast, when I'm on these testing days, everything had changed. I mean, hours ago, I had a different wheel pedal combo, all hooked up to the PC. Xbox wasn't even in here. Had to get everything converted over onto the CSL uh, Elite package, Fanatic gear, plugging the pedals directly into the wheel so it would work on the Xbox so that we could test out this wheel. It meant getting rid of all that other stuff. I left most of the wiring so that I can change things back, and that's why things sometimes look a little messy on the wiring respect. So, we'll go ahead and uh, do a quick, quick calibration. And... Done. Should be good. And how about that for toe? And I'm going to put on auto clutch right now because I'm not using my stick shift. And we're on the wrong audio source because that's another part of what I'm doing. And you know, people wonder why I have audio mix problems from time to time. And it's like, because every scenario I go do, I have to flip everything around. Did I want my speakers going, you know, 
playing loud or did I want them being recorded and it's like every time I make a change everything's different field of view I have to change a single screen when I'm re gonna record footage so and and I'm not that I hope that didn't even sound for a minute like a complaint because it's not a complaint as much as just giving you insight as to what it's like doing this um, it's not as simple as just plug it in it's like well it's starting over from scratch every time there's our gear indicator already lights are already on so you can see I would imagine we're just waiting on an update to Forza that will take care of uh, getting all that working in game because I believe everything is supposed to be compatible. That's part of the point of being Xbox compatible. And now we're back to basically anything that I would say right now would clearly be identical to when I did the review of this base because the only difference between now and then is the wheel rim. And the biggest difference between these two is the blue stitching versus red. This one has a little perforated smooth leather in the grip area versus this one's Alcantara all the way throughout. Um, I, I guess there's a slight difference, but that's a matter of preference. This is a little slipperier and not as warm. This is a little more comfortable, but let's face it, it's going to show a little more wear than this will over time. Uh, the other difference, obviously, this one being Xbox One compatible, this one being PS4 compatible. Um, everything else I could say about this right now, honestly, would be just extending it to the wheelbase and the pedal combo, which we've already reviewed, and I don't really want to turn this into that. Now, my plans really are to do a full-blown review, uh, uh, you know, showing all the features. I mean, I, again, the review won't be that much more different than when I did the, the review of this one here. I'm wondering if this one felt a touch lighter. That will be brought into uh, play. But, you know, this is one of the lightest wheel rims. It's one of the least expensive wheel rims you're going to get from Fanatic. So I get a lot of people asking me comparison starter packages. And one way to get into the Fanatic lineup at a less expensive price, honestly, is with this at 160 instead of, say, like $300 for some of their upper-end wheels. So that saves you $140 on startup. It's a good rim. I have very little negative to say about it. Uh, it is not as nice as the $300 one, so there is a difference in the money, and that's reasonable. Uh, but I, I, I'm not going to fault them for that at all. I see my red lights are a little stuck right there. That's interesting. Yeah, it's not going all the way down. That's probably a setting on my part. I'm not going to worry too, too much about that right now. Uh, but again, that kind of gives you another uh, insight as to the kind of stuff when we're doing our testing, our initial testing, especially on products that aren't even out just yet, because sometimes there are little problems, little hiccups that we deal with. And I, I always do my best to present things in the best light for you guys. And, and you know, so if there's a problem that is going to be reoccurring, a problem that is a, 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 a inherent quality of the product, then of course I'm going to let you know if it's something that's just maybe a little bug that I expect to fix, or maybe it gets fixed before I even do a review, uh, I'm not too worried about it. So anyway, I think that pretty much takes this portion. I wanted you to get a first look at the wheel. I wanted you to show me kind of going through, getting it all set up, doing the firmware update. Want to verify that it did work. We now do have an Xbox One compatible wheel, and I it also worked on the PC. So it accomplished both of our goals right there. And I would expect little refinement changes like the LED changes um, and getting it working in the Forza and, and other uh, Xbox One racing titles. Uh, the other thing is I haven't tested yet, but uh, there's that firmware change that actually reduces some of that rattle noise of this wheelbase, uh, which I haven't tried out yet either. It never bothered me because when I did my testing, I was usually in headphones or had blaring speakers. It was only when I turned things to a reasonable level, level for recording that I noticed those noises. So to bring things to a close, I'm just going to check in with you guys. I know we have a small crowd. This was an unannounced uh, unboxing video. So let me just uh, come around here and see what kind of conversation we have going. 
and then I'll go ahead and bring this video to a wrap. And like I said, I'll do a, a more formal show with some really good quality close-up shots so you can see the stitching and everything uh, that makes this wheel special, give you all the exact details. I know I was a little vague and kind of bounced all over and didn't put it together in that concise way that I usually like to. Um, so, so, you know, you'd have to pick and choose timing of this whole show, 46 minutes long, to find the information that you needed. So I will put together a more formal version and get that out fairly quickly. So just checking in with you guys really quickly, and then I'm going to bring it to a close, like I said. And some conversation just going on, talking about shifters. That's great. I love, that's one of the reasons I love the live stream and the live show is that it can go on with what I'm talking about. There can be secondary conversations, support conversations, community uh, conversations going on. That's fantastic. So thank you guys for keeping up the banter. And yeah, having a shifter won't hurt. It's fun. Uh, it takes some practice. And, and in the end, I think it can be even faster if you really get the hang of it. Um, your turn is the same when it lights turn blue okay and why is that when you plug yours into the xbox it goes unresponsive and the did you update it in did you update the firmware danny in windows you need to update the firmware in windows and then go back to the xbox so it might be that i didn't try it without the update i i had been warned in advance um I'm, yeah, this for this stream, I had to completely do something different. This is actually uh, my normal webcam, which is super high quality for a webcam. But because I was doing an unboxing and was going to be moving around a lot and needed uh, my rig in order, I actually switched to a different one. Also, the audio is different. It's just open audio today, no microphone, and it's probably tinny and echoey is my guess. So um, that's the answer to that, Willie. And L3 Erm, thank you. I'm glad you liked the videos. Um, Kitchen Double, I bet it's such a lot down after using a DD wheel. Um, you know, this is one of those topics I could do a live show on and just sit here and talk about wheels without getting into reviews. You can hear my fans, and they're not enough. I would turn them up double. I'm really hot right now. Um, so uh, I, I probably found the maximum fan I can do without being annoying to you guys. But again, uh, in some ways, yes, it's a letdown. And in some ways, no. Um, this wheel is an amazing wheel. Uh, the modern wheels that we have available from the G29 or 920 up are really good wheels. So you can be... You know, I could be spoiled and tell you it's the end of the world. Oh, I can't drive on anything else. But to be honest with you, I can drive just as competently on any of the new high-end wheels or, or even medium up-level wheels available. So I love my direct drive wheel, and there are things that make it better or more comfortable for me. But it, I wouldn't go as far as to use the word letdown. That's for sure. And, and I've done recent races on this wheel, uh, with this wheel rim, I've done recent races on the Thrustmaster TSPC, so I, 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 I don't mind switching wheels. It just takes a little time sometimes to, uh, to uh, you know, just get uh, used to it again real quick. Get, you know, know exactly where the throw points are, I guess is the best way I can describe it quickly. Um... Okay, so anyway, it seems like we've answered all the questions, and again, I hope you've enjoyed this show. I, I know we have a small crowd, but today was something completely different once again using the live stream. I, I just I wanted to see what it was like doing an unboxing. I wanted you to, to let you guys into my world, see what it was like from the moment of getting it. Uh, when I film, even when I've done unboxing or certain reviews of products, you see me unbox it and then it's like magically on my rig and then magically everything's working perfectly and I can tell you about everything at its best. And that is how I like to present things in a review format. But it's not letting you into my world of, of what it's like being a, a, a reviewer and, and getting products, you know, day of release or sometimes early or sometimes shortly after release. So... Uh, anyway, that's that's why I wanted to do it today, even though it was totally different. Lower camera quality, I didn't necessarily mind. Lower audio quality, I didn't necessarily mind, because today was more about being able to move this thing around everywhere, 
get and do everything we needed. I wanted you guys to see my rat nest of wires. Not that I'm proud of it, but this is the world I live in. This is what it's like uh, to be the sim pit, the, to be a reviewer and, and constantly be changing hardware. I have my Leo Bonner wiring here. I have my uh, you know display box wiring here, which I wasn't going to need here. I had a, a, a shifter wired up that I don't necessarily need. So this is the way it is around here, and it is pretty cool. Um, uh, uh, doing it. I have a lot of fun doing it. So, anyway, that was the whole point of today's show. So, uh, I see Scott. Scott uh, does some behind-the-scenes work, and he recently got an Oculus Rift, and uh, that's another uh, a show that I, I'd, I'd have, just conversing about Oculus Rift uh, or VR in general, where we are, and I get asked about it all the time, and my opinion is is sort of all over the place with it, to be honest with you. I, in different times, different places, I love it. Other times, other places, I don't love it. Um, which is, and, and then as far as, uh, from my perspective, doing the show, I think it would be really boring uh, watching me race with an Oculus. Uh, and I don't really like the moving view when people show that view. It's cool the first time you see it, but I don't think it's a quality way to see a sim and see what sims are all about. So... Um, Anyway, and you can see Scott has a very fa favorable opinion, and, and, and quite honestly, maybe that's a great show, because I, I might not have quite that positive a thought. I don't, I don't know if I've gotten... I don't know if I'd use anything like I've never gotten anything uh, before. Anyway, that is a topic for another day, and maybe that's what we'll do for one of our first live discussion chats with you guys out there, asking questions, making comments on our statements, and maybe I can just talk to Scott about his opinion on Oculus. Uh, I've used it a lot in the past. I don't have one here at the studio. I could have one here tomorrow if I really needed it. Um, but I've been holding out for the next generation. So that's my, my, my personal take. But we'll leave that for another day. Until then, this is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole. And I'll see you on the track.